Welcome back, Torn Carter here from Eternity Incorporated, and today, um, uh, I'm going to show you how to install both the mods, Minecraft Forge and Optifine. Now, because of the 1.6.2 update, a lot of the coding has been changed in Minecraft, which caused both Optifine and Minecraft Forge, or FML, Forge Mod Loader, uh, to not comply with each other, which is very quite, uh, frustrating. Because what happens is Minecraft Forge, now, it doesn't like it whenever you mod its jars. And Optifine is one of those mods that you need to, you know, get inside of the jar and mess or muck around with it. So, I found a nice little tutorial on the Minecraft forum about how to do this without modding the jar. Um, it's made by this guy, however the hell you say your name, uh, MTZRMTTHIHU777. And this guy came up with a tutorial on you know, how to do this without actually modding your jar. So I asked the guy if I could do a video on it. He said, sure. Uh, he's he's actually going to do a video on Linux right now. Or, well, once he once he gets the recording set up, he's going to do it on Linux. So that's going to be good. And, excuse me. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um... Was I saying? Yeah, he's going to do a tutorial on Linux, so all you Linux users, wait, he'll come out with a tutorial. So, uh, I don't see why not we just get started, why don't we? Uh, so first things first, you want to download the most recent Forge by going to uh, files.minecraftforge.net, and it should be the recommended build for 1.6.2, uh, 789, as you can see there. So download the installer. Don't download the universe. Download installer. Download installer. Okay. Anyway, so once you download that installer, it'll show up here. You want to run it. And if you want to, you can download Optifine. Whatever. Anyway. So now you'll get this little pretty little window. And you can either select... Well, there's a couple different choices. You can install the client, which we're going to do. And, you know, if you want to run a server... A modded server with Forge, you can install that server. And if you want to extract the universal, which we could have done by going to the files uh, page, you can do that, I guess, if you really wanted to. But we will actually be using that later on. So we just want to install the client, click OK. And there we go, complete. So now we got Forge installed. So let's just open up our Minecraft real quick. <sighs> Okay, there we go. And it will create a new profile called Forge, as you can see here. Yay, Forge. And I'm going to have to log in. Uh -huh. Oh. There we go. Play. Now, we're doing this to both see if Minecraft Forge is, you know, working. And from here, it looks like it's starting up just fine. Uh, so it's working and to actually create some necessary files that we will need later on. This will not show up for you, the dynamic light, because I forgot. I keep on forgetting. I still have, because it's like my third time recording, uh, sorry. Because, um, I actually forgot to empty up my mods folder. But, these will all still work, don't worry. Um, <clears throat> so 1.6.2, uh, doing Forge will, uh, make launching it a little bit slower. A little bit longer but you know if it's for a good cause then holy shit okay you know it's for a good cause then it's for a good cause so as you can see here mm, forge mod loader has been installed mm. oh my god it's very sorry and everything seems to be going on just fine with the coder pack and mod loader and micro forge so that's done let's quit and okay so it's shutting down just fine all the sound systems so now we can uh, exit out of here, and now we want to go into our .minecraft folder by going to percent app data percent .minecraft, and there we go, we're in here. Now this is the part where what we're going to do, we're going to create a new uh, version or a new release, as it's called. Uh, oh, ignore this, ignore this, ignore this. That's not there. Okay. <laughs> so what you're going to do, you're going to create a new folder. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe I forgot to do this. Create a new folder and name it Forge. Whatever that is. 1.6.2. Press enter. Now, with this folder, what we're going to do, we're going to open up 
uh, this folder that Forge has installed whenever it ran the installer. I'm going to open that up and copy these two files. Go back to your versions and paste them inside the Forge, the Forge folder that we actually created. And let's just paste them in there. There we go. And now we're going to rename these so that they match that folder name. So rename Forge whatever that is. I'm just going to call it the minus sign. 1.6.2 and when we press enter we'll rename both of them. And now we get to editing the JSON file. The JSON file um, is the file that tells uh, the new directory where to look or the not new directory, the new launcher where to look for everything to download. So we're actually just going to edit this with either if we want to use Word then go ahead but I'm going to edit it with Notepad. So now we just need to change that ID is the very first thing to forge minus sign 1.6.2 and we actually are not done with this other tutorials say hey all you have to do is rename that and you're done no you are not done I repeat you are not done editing the JSON file go back to this thread that this I'm just gonna call you he who <laughs> he who that he who uh, busted and open up the installing Optifine even though we're still working on Forge and you're going to grab this right here copy this actually uh, sorry you want to copy these little actually those are spaces we don't want spaces we want tabs anyway so copy all this like so go in here and right under as you can see here where it says Minecraft Forge uh, right where that comma is underneath it you want to press enter and tab twice and now you can paste it, which is either Control V or, you know, right click paste. Um, and that will paste it saying that you need to go into the libraries folder and look for the Optifine folders. Optifine, Optifine. I don't know, sorry. This is telling it to look inside the Optifine folder in the library section, in the Optifine folder, and the another Optifine folder inside the Optifine folder, 1.6.2 HDUB1. Simple as that. Okay, now we're actually going to go and create these folders right now. Save this file, exit out, and I'm just going to open this up. And now we're going to go back to our .minecraft folder. We're going to look for libraries. And libraries is right there. Now, libraries is where um, Minecraft gets all of its information, and now where the new launcher downloads everything. So if we were to look inside our net folder, as you can see, create a new folder called Minecraft Forge, Minecraft Forge, release, and we'll have that in there. If you do not have that in there for some odd reason, just extract it that we had in our downloads, extract the universal, and then make those files, and rename it. Simple as that. So now we're going to go back to our libraries, and we're going to create a few new folders. Uh, the first one being Optifine, uh, like so. Optifine, double enter to open up the folder. Another file called Optifine. Optifine. Enter, enter. Oh. I'm, I'm guessing it didn't like that. Hold on. Oh no. What's happening? You've never done this before. <laughs> anyway, so once you create the two folders, I'm just going to attempt. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't know why that happened. I'm very sorry. So, I'm going to create another folder in here called 1.0. 6.2 underscore H D almost press G uh, U underscore B one. This is the version of Optifine. Uh, I can't believe I actually remember that off the top of my head. But what that pretty much means is that is 1.6.2 H D Ultra B one version or Beta one version. So let's open that up. And now this folder is where we're going to paste our zip. Uh, Optifine folder that we got. So let's copy that. And we're just going to click the little back button to bring us back here. If you do not have that back button, uh, have fun going back through the directories. I <laughs> uh, feel very sorry for you. And we're going to paste that. We are not done yet. <laughs> we still need to rename the zip folder. With this zip folder, what we need to do, we need to uh, get rid of, get rid of, god damn it, get rid of Optifine underscore and put down Optifine uh, all lowercase and then minus sign. There we go. 
and then we're going to change it to a jar file because Java reads jar files, not zip files. And thank you for beeping in my ears. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Um, that's done. Up to fine is all done. And now we are done editing files. All we have to do is simply um, now go and edit some profiles inside the Minecraft launcher. So let's do that, why don't we? Okay, there we go. So we already know that profile works, but we aren't editing that profile. We're going to create a new one. You can name this profile anything you want in the profile name. I'm just going to name it 1.6.2 1 modded as mine. Again, you can name it anything you want. Go ahead. Now click on the little drop down that says use version. You're going to find the version that says release forge 1.6.2. Click that. Click Java, uh, I think that's manuscript, I can't remember what the M is, but it's the Java arguments. This argument just tells it how many uh, gigs of RAM to use. Uh, you can delete that if you want, if you don't have a gigabyte of RAM. If you don't, why are you playing Minecraft? Uh, and we're simply going to add another Java argument. Be sure to add a space. That space is very important, or else Java will think that it's one long argument and it will uh, break your game. So now that we got that, we're going to scroll down so we see part 7 of his tutorial. This is where you're going to find this right here. This is the Java argument telling that telling it that uh, when it tries to patch itself, oh, I just started doing that. <laughs> when it tries to patch itself, it, it it's telling it uh, to ignore it. So, Control V to paste it because you actually can't right click in this little window. So, oh well. Oh. So once you have that, you want to save your profile and. Uh, Go to your 1.6.2 modded or whatever you named it. Log in. Oh, Carter. I need to. I'm really tempted to like start saying my email out out loud, but I really don't want people to be emailing me until later. Okay, play. Yay! And now hopefully everything will work, unless I forgot a crucial thing, which hopefully I didn't. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. So now as it's all loading up. As you can see, dynamic lights is loading up, meaning that uh, Forge is successfully working, as you can see. And now, there it is, Optifine. Oh, shit, I'm just going to start loading thing. And you can see Optifine has loaded, uh, which is very good. And right there, it says FML is ignoring an error, which is very good. That's what the patch does. Note that the patch will not be applied, and it is likely that mal <laughs> to be malfunctioning behavior, including not running at all. So Forge is thinking, because of Optifine, it won't run. It'll poop out. But obviously, that's not going to work. Then Optifine loads up, which is a lot. And like I said, uh, installing both Forge and Optifine will make loading a little bit slower. But oh well. And now we have, now we have, now we have our Minecraft. Um, and as you can see, Forge is installed and Optifine. There we go, guys. 16 mods are installed, that's including Optifine right there, and Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Mod Micro Forge. Now to prove to you that they are both in fact working, I will demonstrate a few things that you should know about some of the other mods I posted. Or not posted, but uh, or have. <laughs> ah, what was loading up? <clears throat> this is my Redstone testing world, so... Alright, we're loading. It's a little bit slow right now. I'm sort of recording. Okay, so as you can see, we have a bunch of our faces and stuff. Austin's head is gone. It's okay. Um, so, one crucial thing, uh, the iconic Optifine Zoom works, of course. And if we go into Options, Video Settings, we have all of this wonderful extra stuff that we can do. Uh, which is very nice. Done, done. And to show that Minecraft Forge is in fact working. We're going. I'm going to go off and find my auto day. There it is. We okay. Uh, I'm going to delete that. Okay. So now I'm able to set time. That's a one torrent, fourteen hundred, and that. Oh, time set. What am I doing? I'm set, 1400, there you go, and now, because I'm holding redstone, 
dynamic light makes it so that whenever you hold on a little piece of redstone or anything else that would give off light, apparently redstone gives off light, but uh, it will light up the area around you as you can see. Now it's all dark, light, bigger light, dark, light, dark, light. Here we go. Um, I won't get into showing you how to install those mods. Maybe I will do those later. Hmm. Anyway, so there you go. You got Forge and Optifine working uh, hand in hand together all happy and junk so uh, if you like this tutorial please go and check out uh, his thing give him all of the credit this is not mine I just asked if I could do a video to help spread the word that this is working so you know this is his little thing this is all him I just asked him if I can make a video so you know I'll have this link in the description it's very nice um, so if you want any more tutorials about how to mod your Minecraft, uh, maybe, you know, you want a tutorial on, oh, Austin, I destroyed a bit of your face, I'm sorry, um, on how to oh, no, no, install other mods, like how I did with, um, like how I did with dynamic lights or anything like that, if you want a tutorial like that, you know, uh, like this video. Uh, if you want to, oh, Jesus, if you have any suggestions for like an adventure map, maybe an adventure map, or maybe uh, anything that you are wanting, wondering, wanting to see, be sure to comment that in the description, and I'll see what I can do. And uh, I'm actually, sadly, my my uh, my room got flooded, so I'm actually in some living room right now. And uh, <laughs> so, I'll just give you some little updates. Let's see, uh, we hit 50 subscribers uh, by the time I'm recording this. I don't know if that will increase whenever I post this, but, yo, 50 subscribers, that's very good. You know, um, halfway to 100. <laughs> that's our little mini goal right now is to reach 100 subscribers. And, you know, if you guys were to help us out with that, that would be a ginormous help. You know, go spread the word. Eternity Inc. is now in business. Well, we've been in business for a couple months, but, oh well. That's very good. Uh, it would not be possible without you guys. Um, I'm not just trying to suck up to you. You know, this is f literally from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. And uh, we all, all four of us love you. So, if you're one of those people like, nobody loves me. You got you got the four of us. Yeah. You know, we all, we, 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 sh we seriously just want to say thanks. Uh, we also hit a thousand video views uh, the other day. I think we have like a thousand one or eleven hundred or something like that. I can't remember. Like that. Uh, I'm about to actually work on an adventure map. With a friend, with a couple friends actually. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's actually it. So, yeah. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, like and subscribe for more, or not like and subscribe. Uh, like and comment for more. Got any suggestions? Tell us. Uh, got a map that you want us to do? Uh, message us the link to the map, and we'll see if we can do anything about it. And uh, this has been Torn Carter from Eternity Incorporated. Be sure to check out that guy's long name. So this is Torn Carter from Eternity Incorporated. Uh, wishing you guys a bye bye. So uh, yeah, bye guys. Got some wood. Got some wood now. God damn it! I'm trying. I'm trying to get this. Uh, damn it! Wait a minute. I could just keep tripping this. You could just get all the arrows out. <laughs> oh! God damn it. Oh, did I hit you? No! I'm trying to make that jump. <laughs>